CataractCoach.com Remove the central capsule wrinkle. An overly large capsule or bag in these extreme myopes can cause wrinkling. So here's the case. Cataract's already out. We got a nice looking Rexus. We'll polish up the lens capsule after we get the lens in. So let's deliver this lens. So we're going to deliver the lens. Here it comes. The three-piece lens. This is a meniscus lens. You're like, I don't know what meniscus means. Oh, you better go to cataractcoach.com and use the search box and type in meniscus. If you don't know what this is, come on. So there comes the lens. 7L rule, the first haptic coming out of the number 7, the trailing haptic looking like the capital letter L. Let's get that dialed in the capsule bag. Look how thick the lens is. Why? Did someone say meniscus? Oh, yeah, you can look that up, remember? So now we're centering up the lens here. That's a good-looking Rexus. I like the Rexus overlapping the optic quite nicely. And let's take out the viscoelastic. There are no wrinkles now because, of course, the whole capsule bag is full of viscoelastic. So go behind the IOL. Let's remove... The viscoelastic from the capsule bag, here it comes. There, it all goes down. This is a big, big myopic guy. This patient's getting a, a very low power lens. I think it's a minus power lens. That's why meniscus lenses tend to be the minus power, the zero power, the one, two, three, four dot, that kind of range. And when you study meniscus lenses, meniscus lenses, you'll understand why. So cleaning up, we're doing a little capsule polishing here. Now, there are no wrinkles in the bag now because you have this high infusion from the IA probe. But what ends up happening is this is a very large eye. The white to white is 13 millimeters. That means it's a real big capsule bag. But that optic's still 6 millimeters. So now look what happens. There's a wrinkle in the capsule. And look at the position of the wrinkle in respect to where the haptics are. So the haptics push out towards that capsular equator edge. And look what they do. They're causing a wrinkling of the capsular bag. This is a very big bag. As a result, you get that wrinkle there down the middle. Now, you don't want to leave that wrinkle because if you leave the wrinkle, the patient will see it. So here's the trick that I use. Check this out. Push the optic down and move the wrinkle. You're going to have it to where the haptic optic junction is. There, look at the top of your screen. There's the wrinkle now at the haptic optic junction on the outside edge of the IOL optic and not in the center. There's the lens. Minus two diopters. Told you. But now, I'm happy there's no wrinkle in the capsule bag. And it'll heal up like this. Let's show you another case. So again, let's deliver the lens here. Here comes the leading haptic going in the capsule bag. Nice and easy. You know the 7L rule. First haptic better come out looking like the number 7. There it is. That's the correct orientation going in the capsule bag. Here comes the optic again. Very thick optic meniscus lens, people. And then there's the trailing haptic. It's going to be like the letter L. And we'll get that delivered as well. So we'll get that dialed in here now. Nice and easy, taking our time. Get that in the capsule bag. So the whole lens in the bag. And get it centered up. And it looks great now. As you know, there are no wrinkles at, the, at this time because eyes full of viscoelastic. Or now it's going to be full of infusion pressure. So let's take out our viscoelastic from behind the lens. Go behind. Take out the viscoelastic. Nice and clean. Get all that stuff out. And then when we see the wrinkle in the center of the lens capsule, what we're going to do is adjust the optic position and push that wrinkle to the side so that it's near the haptic optic junction. That won't affect the vision. The patient won't even know. But if you leave that wrinkle right in the dead center, well, in the post-op period, the patient's going to see that wrinkle, and it's going to cause that Maddox rod effect with any incoming light source, especially with a dark contrasted background. Like a, you know, looking at a, the moonlight outside, look at the moon and you'll see that, that spiky thing because of that Maddox rod effect. So seal up the main incision here. You can see we have a nice looking Rexus. And then if you see that wrinkle, what we're going to do is we're going to push it to the side. So still getting that eye pressurized. And then we can adjust the optic position if we need to. Make sure that incision is totally sealed. And again, the wrinkle is just pushed to the side. So any slack or laxity in the capsule bag is pushed out towards the edge of the optic. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you found this pearl useful. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. CataractCoach.com. Check it out.